We've got a combined interest in making the CSN, the bag snacks category, as successful as possible. It's always nice to have an expert in. We are seeing crisp snacks and nuts being a real driver of growth across the whole of the retail estate. That's because um, food on the go, missions are increasing, but within that, crisp snacks and nuts are actually doing better than some of the other impulse categories. So on the go sales now actually represent 17% of missions, and that's up from about 14% just, uh, just 18 months ago. So on the go missions are increasing. Yes, people are working at home more, but people are still coming in for a store like this, particularly a store like this, which does its own sandwiches and has got meal deals, and are buying that for a great value lunch. What we really wanted to do with 25 to Thrive was to create some range guidance that will support and help the independent retail sector to understand which products they should be choosing. Crisp Snacks and Nuts is a huge category. There are over 500 SKUs which an independent retailer such as Andrew and Lewis here could choose. That's a massive amount. What we wanted to do was to take a genuine category approach, be brand agnostic, and show which we thought were the best and leading SKUs that must be in the range. There are five principles behind 25 to Thrive that we really think that the independent retailers should think about. So number one is that they should focus on the leading SKUs, the best selling SKUs in the category. The second one is that we think PMP, price mark packs, are absolutely crucial for the independent sector. Number three, is that we think there should be a breadth of range in, C in CSN. So we should have a nuts product, we should have a popcorn product, as well as those other um, sort of better selling. And number, number four, we want a range of price points. So not only the 125 PMP, but we should have a lower price PMP. Fifth and finally, we want brands that people know and trust. We know in this sector that the brand, the, the, you know, the, the brands that people have grown up with in many cases are the ones that they're looking for. Those 500 SKUs that I talked about, if you can identify the 25, 45, however many it is that you require to fill your fixture, then you can really drive your sales performance if you do that. Crips and snacks are really important. Um, you know, they're really impulse by um, some people come in just for crisps, um, but then that may lead to another sale. We have all our crisps next to our chocolate and drinks, so it's all sort of impulse stuff, um, and it's also by our sandwich bar as well. And then they've got a nice range of crisps, a nice big run across three bays, um, a nice variety. I do like to make my own sort of little planograms, but it's always nice to have a recommended one to go off as well and, and give that a go. We've also added a, a, a nice range of, of different sorts of products. It's not just crisps, you've got your crisps, your nuts, your popcorn. So you're covering sales throughout the day really, and not just that lunchtime load of people. Um, and also they've added uh, quite a lot of price marks uh, packaging, which we always like. It's in the customer's face. It's, it's almost like it's POS already there for you. Um, so that, that helps the sales as well. So my top three tips, Number one, make sure that you know what are the best selling SKUs in the category. Number two, focus on PMP. And number three, make sure you have a variety of products to meet a wide range of snacking occasions.